Good morning, dear students. Now it's your first period of computer science. In last period, we have been completed chapter five, that is, images in a document. Student, today we are going to start chapter six, that is, advanced features in OpenOffice dot org writer. In this chapter, we will discuss about the following topics, as use of different page settings. Options, the use of drawing toolbar, how to organize data in tables, and the use of mail merge, and lastly, how to take the printout. Of a document as a hard copy. Now, student, we can make notices, brochures, letters, invitation cards, book pages, resumes, and lot of many things using writer. And all of them require different page layouts and size. So, page setting is one of the most important options of OpenOffice Writer. Now, we can. Change page settings by clicking on Format menu and then Page option, or right-click on the document and select Page option. After that, Page Style dialog box open. There are several tabs in this dialog box. The page tab of the page style dialog box is where you can control the general settings of the page. Page style dialog box consists of Three sections and a preview corn area in top right corner of the dialog box, as shown in this picture. First section that is. Paper format section. You can specify the size of paper, choosing from one of the many predefined formats. Point two. You can customize the paper size by specifying the width and height. Fill as per your choice. Section two, that is orientation section. Orientation is used to set whether the printout should come widthwise, that is landscape, or lengthwise, that is. Portrait, as shown in this picture.
now section 3rd margin section margin refers the space left in between the extreme left corner of the page and the text you can use this option to specify the margins required from left right top or bottom of the page as shown in this picture we can also give attractive borders and fill the back color etc by page side dialog box background and border pages we can use the background page to apply a background or the border page to draw a border around the text area of the page we can choose between a solid corner color or a graphic image for the background and several style of line for the borders as shown in this picture we can choose the different colors as shown in this picture and different line styles as shown in this picture now drawing toolbar to open drawing toolbar follow the following steps as shown in this picture step 1 click on view and then toolbar and then click on drawing step 2 drawing toolbar will open up with the set of different tools as listed in this picture there are 17 tools are there details of the 17 options are given on page number 104 student you can read about the different tools of drawing toolbar and try to understand if you have laptop and computer at your home try to use these options simply as uh, select tool it is used to select the drawing object you can select several objects by pressing the control button while selecting the individual object line tool it is used to draw line rectangle tool it is used to draw a rectangle 
प्रेस द शिफ्ट की बटन टू ड्रॉ ए स्क्वायर एलिप्स टूल इट इज यूज टू ड्रॉ एन एलिप्स प्रेस द शिफ्ट बटन टू ड्रॉ ए सर्कल फ्री फ्रॉम लाइन इट इज यूज टू मेक फ्री हैंड ड्रॉइंग टेक्स्ट टूल इट इज यूज टू राइट एनी टेक्स्ट एंड देर आर फाइव टूल्स आर एज कल आउट्स बेसिक शेप्स सिंबल्स ब्लॉक एरोस फ्लो चार्ट्स एंड स्टार्स क्लिक ऑन द ट्रैंगल गिविन अलोंग विद द विद दीज टूल्स टू ओपन द पॉपअप कंटेनिंग डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स सेलेक्ट द डिजायर्ड शेप देन ड्रॉ एज नॉर्मल कीप द शिफ्ट की प्रेस टू ऑप्टेन ए शेप वाइल द लेंथ एंड विथ आर इक्वल एज इन एलिप्स टूल रेक्टेंगल टूल now points select this tool and then select a shape or a line to edit the individual point that form the shape or line font art gallery open the font work gallery which is used to write text in different style from file the option is equivalent to insert picture from file in on the main menu extrusion on or off switches 3d effect on or off for the selected object clicking this button also open the 3d setting toolbar student i hope you will read this page and try to use on your laptop or computer student i am sending the activity on page number 101 completed in your book thank you and have a nice day